Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. Welcome back. And in today's video, this is just a quick tip and trick for reducing brush lag inside of Adobe Photoshop. So let me go ahead and show you that. So uh, also, I'm going to show you the size that I work at because I get that question a lot. 11 by 17 at 300 DPI. I also keep in mind to watch the megabyte size. And I generally work at 40 to 60 megabytes per file size for painting, drawing, things like that. Uh, it's probably a little bit of an overkill, but it gives me a good quality. Uh, and there I'm actually trying to edit some of my <laughs> website there. Sorry about that. I'm always multitasking here. Okay, so essentially, let's see here. Brush lag. Let me show you something real quick uh, about brush lag that I wasn't fully aware of. Now, I'll first show you the thing that they you're going to find the most when you research this. Uh, is to go into your preferences. Uh, the general. It's going to open up this uh, interface here. And you're going to change things like, uh, let's see, let me find it, scratch disk. You know, you can make sure that it's pulling from your, your active scratch disk as your larger or your, your better, um, you know, you got SSD and HHD or something like that, and one of them is faster. So if you got two different hard drives, make sure it's pulling from the faster one. That's not really an issue with my system. Um, then you've got performance. Uh, you've got whether or not you set to basic or advanced for your processing they say that basic runs better for reducing brush lag uh, it doesn't seem like it would make sense to me but that's what i've re researched and found so try that so you could try with these settings oh, something i recommend whenever you're changing settings like this is to keep a notepad to the side of you and write down the changes that you make and change each setting and restart the program uh, that way you can really itemize and figure out if they've benefited you or not so don't just make changes and then start drawing and expect anything to happen. The other thing is history states. If you got a stronger system, you can bump this up. This generally will slow down uh, your processing and your your you know increased brush lag and things like that, or just overall performance of Photoshop. So keep that in mind as well. And you know how many how many megabytes uh, it uses as a secondary RAM on your system. So my understanding of this is that it pulls from your hard drive to increase RAM. Uh, performance but if you've got a good amount of ram like 16 or above or you know even eight and above if you're working with smaller file sizes and not a whole lot of other taxing things on your system should be fine but i do recommend at least 16 or above um you know seems to give you a lot better result for multitasking and things like that so you can play with this as well but again just remember to note every setting change that you make that's always going to help you uh, tremendously um, and I want to say that's the most of what you can really do inside of here. Uh, there might be more, and if there are, be sure to comment in the section below, and uh, we'll all read through that and learn together. All right, so here's the big one that I found, and I was pretty amazed that this even made a difference. I actually tried it thinking it wouldn't even matter, uh, and it actually mattered the most. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, one of the reasons that I like drawing on certain devices is I like just immediate responsiveness. And... If you're listening to the pen strokes on my device right now, uh, you could probably tell that there's a little bit of a lag. Um, and also there was actually a few skipped uh, brush marks in there. So let me try a little bit bigger brush because that'll generally add to brush lag as well. And here you can really see it. Or hopefully here. And so far it's doing good. Hold on. There was a little bit of lag. See right there it skipped. I'll try to do a bunch of lines in succession next to each other and what happens is you wouldn't think that this brush lag see there's a skip right there you wouldn't think that this brush lag would make that big of a difference but i'm kind of a fast sketcher not to brag or nothing but you know i am uh so what happens is if i'm really like getting into my sketch and i want to hurry up and put these fluid lines down or whatever you know it it, it interferes and it takes me out of the see there it did it again and it's it's really just annoying like a, you know kind of like makes me want to punch the screen and I can't do that because I can't afford a new screen right now but so here's the deal here's one that I found that made the biggest difference hit control R and get rid of the rulers it's way more responsive I mean noticeably I can't even get it to skip now is that amazing or what and I could not believe that and that's not a skip just so you know that's me I get I actually move the uh, brush over it's not skipping now i can feel a total difference in that so that's the big one you know sorry for my really <laughs> ugly set of lines here but th this is what i wanted to show you because now when i get in here and i start doing you know some cross hatching and some line work that 
little to no lag, uh, or really none, I, f I feel like it's totally gone, um, is a big difference because it allows you to focus on your lines more and not get frustrated in the middle of the creation process, which is big with any program. It's actually one of the reasons why I started drawing in Sketchbook Pro more uh, and, and was really happy with the iPad Pro because there's no lag in those. Uh, Sketchbook Pro has almost none. I don't think it even has any on my system anyways. And then the iPad Pro, none. It just works. I mean, I use Procreate. It just There's no lag. But now, after finding this out, this has a lot better feel. And I wasn't aware of this. And this is simply because the rulers are on. When the rulers are on, it for whatever reason, maybe it's the fact that it thinks the lines need to snap to some guide or whatever, uh, it's it's basically lagging. So one more time, Command-R, Control-R if you're on a PC. And there you go. Maybe that'll fix your brush lag issue. Maybe it won't. But let me know what you think in the comments section below. As always, always thank you for stopping by and watching the videos. Uh, you can always support the channel by checking out the links in my description box below, and I appreciate the support. So keep drawing, keep having fun, and I will talk to you soon.